For this example, we want to rewrite the expression in reduced form. And this expression here is a rational expression where the denominator, the bottom, looks pretty clean already, but the top looks pretty complicated. So taking a look at what's happening on the top, the major thing to notice is that top has a subtraction sign. So the stuff that comes before the subtraction sign would be one term, and then the stuff that comes after the subtraction sign would be a second term. And so what we're looking at is with those two terms that are on the top, we need to figure out what the greatest common factor of uh, those of those two terms would be. And so we notice that we've got, um, before the subtraction sign, we've got a 2. And after the subtraction sign, we also have a 2. So that common factor of 2 could come out um, on the top. So if we pull that out front, um, let's take a look at what's left. Well, we see that we've also got this factor 3x minus 1 that appears both before the subtraction sign right there, one copy of it does, and after the subtraction sign right there. But after the subtraction sign, because of the exponent 2, we've actually got two copies of that factor. So since there's only one copy of that factor that comes before the subtraction sign, that's the biggest amount that we could pull out. And, and that's all that matches. Uh, we do see that there's a factor of x that comes after the subtraction sign, but no such factor exists before the subtraction sign, so it's not common between the two terms. Um, likewise, that factor x squared plus 4, it only appears before the subtraction sign, not after it, so we can't, um, we can't pull it out as the greatest common factor. So our greatest common factor there for the two terms would be our 2 times our 3x minus 1. So now what we need to do is figure out what's left over. Well, when we pull out the 2 times 3x minus 1, we have a, a factor of 3 left over and a factor of the x squared plus 4 left over. That's all that we have left that was before the subtraction sign. Now, after the subtraction sign, we did pull out one copy of the 3x minus 1, but since that 3x minus 1 is squared um, after the subtraction sign, we have one more copy left. So we've got 3x minus 1 left over there. And then we did pull out a 2, but we didn't pull out the x, so that x is still left. And all of that is over the x squared plus 4 raised to the second power. Okay? So we need to be able to um, clean up what's in the bracket there, the square back bracket. Um, but at this point, we don't have any higher powers, but we do have some things that we need to distribute. So as we continue on in our work, we need to hold on to everything that we've pulled out. We've got the 2 times the factor 3x minus 1. But then what we're going to need to do is that 3 that's sitting there first after the bracket needs to be distributed across the factor x squared plus 4. So that'll give us our 3x squared plus 12. And then we've got this subtraction sign with two factors multiplied together after it, 3x minus 1 times x. So what we're really going to be doing is distributing the negative sign and the x through the factor 3x minus 1. So we would have then a minus 3x squared. We've got the minus sign from the subtraction we're distributing. We've got the 3x times the x, giving us 3x squared. And then we've got the um, plus x following it, because we have the minus sign we're subtracting, or the subtraction sign we're distributing, the minus 1, and then the x that we're distributing. Okay? And all of that is still over x squared plus 4 raised to the second power. Okay. So we're getting closer. We've lost the parentheses inside the, um, the square back brackets, so now we can combine our like terms here in our square back brackets, and we've made progress. So we don't want to forget about the 2 times 3x minus 1 that we pulled out. And inside the brackets now, let's gather our common terms. We've got um, a 3x squared minus a 3x squared, so those two... Um, add up to zero so they cancel each other out and that leaves us with a 12 plus an x so I'm going to write it as an x plus 12 okay. and um, that leaves us then with the denominator x squared plus 4 raised to the second power as really our um, final reduced form for this entire um, quotient that we have each factor there is um, 
factored out as much as it can. Nothing can reduce because we don't have any particular common factor on the top and the bottom, and so this really is our final uh, reduced form.